So with the WTA Finals just around the corner, Iga Fiontek has announced her new coach, of course. Didn't play the Asian swing because she was looking for a new coach. She split with her old coach of three years who basically took her to where she is now. Let's go have a look at who is actually going to be the coach and what Fiontek had to say over on social media. This is what Fiontek had to say. So I have news for you today as I'm excited and motivated to start a new chapter. I'm happy to announce that Wimfi Z is joining our team. As you know, I'm preparing for the WTA Finals, but my perspective is, as always, long-term, not short-term. I said many times that my career is a marathon for me, not a sprint. And I'm working, operating, and making decisions with this approach. I want to say that I'm very excited and looking forward to working with Wim. He seems to have a great attitude, vision, and huge experience at a very top level of tennis. It's always crucial to try and get to know each other better, but we're off to a good start, and I can't wait to compete soon. So there you have it. Big news for Igor Fiontek, and that's the best choice of coaches that are available at the moment, of course. Wim Fizet worked with Naomi Osaka not too long ago in her comeback. And then, of course, they split. She got Patrick Maratoglu. So now, Igor Fiontek gets Wim Fizet. And he's worked with a lot of world number ones. He's also won a lot of titles at Grand Slam level with different players. Players like Kleisters, Kerber. Obviously, Osaka's in that mix as well. He's worked with Kvitova. He's worked with Azarenka. So, some of the biggest names in tennis. And not only has he worked with them, he's also got them into world number one position. He's also won titles like Wimbledon with some of those players where Fiontek hasn't done so well at Wimbledon over the past. It's going to be interesting to see what he does. Does he make her serve bigger? Because we know that she has been trying to get a bigger serve, especially playing players like Rabakina and Sabalenka, who do take over a serve, especially on the faster court. So it's going to be really interesting to see how Sviontek does, especially at the WTA Finals with Wim Z in her corner. But let me know down the comments below. Do you think this boosts Sviontek's chances at the Australian Open next year? Or maybe at Wimbledon next year? Because, of course, she has got a bunch of French Opens. We know she can play on the clay. She's the queen of clay. She has got a US Open as well, but those faster court surfaces, they're the problem. Can Wim Fizet turn Fiontek into a bit more of an attacking player to be better at those two tournaments? But there it is, Igor Fiontek getting Wim Fizet, a massive choice and a great choice for her.